afternoon and welcome to the latest edition of our new series, uh, The Girls of Marry with Children, The Ladies of Marry with Children. Over this the new series, we're delighted to bring you over the 11 seasons of Marry with Children. Numerous renowned actresses have played a role in the 1980s and early 90s smash hit TV series, Married with Children. And uh, this week's episode, we're, this week's edition, we're going to go to season nine. Uh, episode two, Driving with Mr. Bundy. And this episode was all about um, Bud Bundy becoming a, a driving instructor, getting a job, and uh, Al forcing him to have, to have a job. And Al uh, obviously then had to go and renew his uh, driving test, uh, driving license uh, with Bud. And under one of their driving lessons route, uh, this underway, they stopped and uh, Bud picked up a hitchhiker. And this hitchhiker, we're delighted uh, to be joined by this evening, uh, Mrs. Nicole Negal, who played the role of Heidi uh, on her way to uh, Bavaria in October first, Oktoberfest uh, in Milwaukee. I suppose, first of all, Nicole, uh, married with children. I suppose you are iconic in terms of comedy humor, in terms of transcending what was renowned in terms of TV sort of families. Uh, still very popular to this day, always very popular. One of the top selling sitcoms ever in American history. Uh, I suppose when you got the role back in the 80s, it was very much, uh, I suppose you saw it as a job and a source of an opportunity in terms of acting. But all these years later on, are you looking back at your resume and your CV and you're saying, that was fun. That was really an enjoyment. And I'm delighted I, I took part in that. Yes, of course, because uh, for me, it was in particular really special because I just finished my acting school and uh, I did uh, like a showcase and um, got myself an agent and married with children was my first job with my agent. So okay. It meant a lot to me and uh, a sitcom is something different because it has a live audience. So it's a little bit something between theater and film and it was a whole new experience. Yeah, and I suppose that uh, Nicole, uh, you mentioned that it was your first sort of opportunity and were you probably made aware of the adult sort of team that was married with children, the comedy by uh, your agent and were you, was that something you were very comfortable with at the time? I was comfortable because I felt ready to act. Uh, I, I trained for two and a half years. Uh, that was in the 90s. And at the end of uh, 94, I believe, I got married with children and they showed it in 1995, that episode. And uh, yeah, I was, um, well, I had, I didn't really know that it was, that it's going to turn out in such a cult uh, 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 TV uh, sitcom uh, that mm -hmm. I had no idea about. I mean, even in America, it, it's not even that culty, I believe, than in foreign countries. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's massive, always, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's always easier to laugh at other, uh, uh, at other nationalities or what they do and how they live. And uh, the sitcom uh, represented a, a, a normal, um, middle-class American family and uh, that was in Germany alone it, it played like three times a day and it's still uh, it's still running as of today. Yeah and I suppose that uh, Nicole when you look at the script and I suppose the script was pure gold in terms of the writing in terms of the humor and the sort of jokes uh, with Mary with children do you remember seeing uh, your the part for you and seeing the lines and seeing the lines for David Faustino and uh, for Ed O'Neill. And do you, do you almost chuckle at when you were playing, uh, when you were acting out those sort of scenes? Did you make you laugh uh, during the outtakes or the outtakes? Did you actually find yourself cracking up at some certain stages? Yes, of course. I, I mean, first of all, in a sitcom, they all first sit together on a table and they just cold read the whole play. That's where you meet all the other actors. And that already alone is you hear them speak the first time and see what's going to work and how they're going to deliver their lines. Sometimes a joke is not working, then they rewrite it and you early on meet the team and then you go on the stage and 
start practicing and you practice already uh, pretty pretty quickly with the the real audience yeah, and I suppose, uh, Nicole, in terms of uh, your interaction with sort of uh, David Faustino, uh, I suppose there's a great scene where the back two of you are in the back seat and you're singing away uh, sort of a German sort of song and uh, sort of with great sort of humour and you can see Al's grimacing sort of uh, face uh, in the front ground. And I suppose uh, scenes like that, um, we, do you look back and do, do you smile when you see those uh that particularly that shot and how did that start to come about the was that written into the script that that sort of German sort of singing? Uh, it, it, they immediately had it written in the script but what was so funny is that uh, David Faustino is very small and I'm very tall so he is I don't I don't want to misjudge how tall he is maybe he's five seven or five six I don't know but I'm six foot so already when we came out of the dressing room and me and my journal, the traditional German uh, Bavarian outfit and uh, him looking up at me, the team already started laughing and it started out from right there. I mean, it was a little typecast, obviously. I'm German and I played a German, uh, although I'm not from Bavaria, but uh, yeah, that was funny. I'm a, I'm a German from Bavaria hitchhiking through America trying to make it to the Oktoberfest in Milwaukee. Yeah, and I suppose, uh, Nicole, uh, in terms of uh, married with children and uh, guest starring in that sort of role, uh, in terms of coming on to a set there, well-established married with children, you appeared in season nine, I suppose, they had, I suppose, at that stage, nearly all had a hundred sort of episodes uh, done. Did you find them very welcoming as a cast to you when oh, you came on yeah. board and and the interactions? Do you feel at home straight away interacting with uh, Katie Segal and Ed O'Neill, probably the most two experienced actors on the set? Yeah, Katie wasn't in my episode. I, I believe she was pregnant, so I never really got to meet her. But uh, obviously, Ed and David Faustino and Christina Applegate, and uh, yeah, they're very welcome. I mean, they're happy. It, it brings a change to their set when they have guest stars. And of course, they are very welcome because uh, they want you to give them a good delivery for them to deliver their lines well. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful teamwork. And I was lucky enough, Ed also took me out for lunch, I guess, to put me at ease uh, in the team. And uh, David had to learn the German song. I had to make a song up and um, he had to learn German. So of course, everybody was laughing because he never spoke German before and he was trying hard to uh, get this uh, song moving. And I suppose, uh, Nicole, uh, appearing on that sort of show, there, and you mentioned that was one of your first episodes uh, in terms of your new agent. Did it really give you that sort of love of acting uh, even more coming off of Married with Children? Say, that was a real sort of enjoyable experience, and I want to do more in terms of maybe comedy sort of TV, TV shows and guest role. I take it you came off uh, with, I take him off the whole set of Married with Children with uh, enjoyable experiences by the sounds of things. You don't seem to have anything negative negative to say? No, no, not, nothing negative to say. I would love to play it again. And yes, it, it was kind of a, a jumping board for me because I played uh, several sitcoms afterwards, other sitcoms, not married with children. And uh, coming out of acting school and uh, quickly being in the union and having the first job uh, a month after, uh, I think a month after I graduated from school, yeah, it was a big deal. Big, big, big mm -hmm. deal. And when then my phone, uh, my phone didn't stop ringing because the Germans uh, who know me uh, uh, called in the middle of the night, cracking up like hysterically because uh, Married with Children was played in three times a, a day. And the last one is, I think, at night. And when you know that a couple of friends are just lounging around in Germany and uh, turning on uh, Married with Children, not knowing that I'm going to be coming into the picture uh, singing German with a German accent and then in this cult series. Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody loved it and they still love it when they see it. Yeah, and you mentioned that in terms of family and uh, loved ones. And I suppose for your, I, for, I don't know, for your next of kin or children or if they've seen the episodes, do they see, do some sense of feel proud, accomplished, and they look 
oh, my mam has appeared in Mary with Children. My mam uh, appeared beside Al Bundy. I suppose everybody knows Al Bundy, I suppose, the yeah. character. They probably know the character Al Bundy, uh, probably ahead of the name Ed O'Neill in terms of that's how famous the sort of name is. So does it give your family sort of great sense of pride? It's one of those things where we were kids or something, look back on and say, I, re- I, I they think, oh, my mom was in married with children and probably might remember other roles that you were in that you were probably more proud of, but they seem to remember that one because it probably resonates with such an audience. With such an audience, with such repetition over and over for years and years, I mean, I, I'm still getting residual checks. So, okay. you know, it, it gets smaller and smaller over the years, but this is like, what, 25 years ago. This is a... This is a long, uh, this is a long time ago. And I suppose that uh, Nicole, one of the things about Marry with Children was it was a sort of a TV sort of comedy show. And I suppose it was sort of geared for an audience, I suppose, a 16 sort of a uh, plus. And I suppose there was great elements of sort of humor. I know it had a massive audience, especially between uh, young males, I say 18 to the 35 bracket was a huge sort of audience there. And I suppose it had the sort of, um, I suppose, the troubles of a, a man and in the sense, but I suppose it also had that bit of uh, sex appeal as well to it in terms of the, all these uh, beautiful ladies as well, uh, in terms of this sort of Al, Al and um, Bud, I suppose, two sort of characters on the low and yes, there are all these beautiful uh, ladies uh, come around them in certain episodes. And uh, I suppose that sort of helped the show as well in terms of that demographic, because it added that bit of extra humor and element that these ladies were probably all the time outside their grasp. Yes, yes, yes. But I, I think also, I mean, sex appeal, I think Peggy brought all the sex appeal. Peggy was a hit with uh, how she walked through the through the household, how she managed El Bundy and the children. I mean, yeah, she brought the sex appeal, but also maybe the uh, the guests, obviously, and they take pretty girls that uh, attract another audience. Uh, but I think the sex appeal already was lying uh, in that show without any guests. Stars, I would say, and Christina Applegate too, beautiful woman, great actress, uh, it was already there. And then it just keeps on adding to refresh uh, the circumstances. Yeah, and I suppose, uh, Nicole, in terms of Mary with Children, I suppose it has survived the decades. It's still going strong in terms <laughs> of a, a cult classic series, uh, even to this day. And I suppose many TV shows have tried to imitate or sort of copy it in terms of what it did, but no one's ever seemed to be able to resonate it since. And I suppose uh, it's it's that's why it probably stands alone even to this day, because there's probably still nothing really like it there has since came along that has matched it in terms of what it was like. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know how it is in Ireland or England or France, but in Germany, I know they try to almost copy the same kind of family, just as a German family. But uh, sitcom in America, the writers are uh, in particular uh, very, very good. Uh, and there's such a big team of writers that really know how to get the deliveries and uh, the jokes. I mean, stand-up comedy, uh, uh, yeah. And I suppose, Nicole, the episodes were 22 minutes. And I imagine there was an awful lot of uh, shooting and editing that had to be done. And certain scenes uh, probably didn't make it because you're trying to combine everything into a 22 minute sort of show. So was there any bit of extra content in terms of your character that didn't make the sort of cut that you're aware of or everything you did actually appeared on the episode? Yes, uh, actually everything uh, that I played appeared. It's pretty strict because you have the live audience. The live audience already knows what's coming. So you actually do deliver exactly what they're gonna uh, what they're gonna show at the end, and you know you start shooting. I don't know. Not all, all people know sitcoms or watch sitcoms, but sitcoms you invite a live audience. They come maybe at six o'clock, and you stop shooting at eleven. I mean that's how long it takes. So you practice uh, from Monday to Thursday, and uh, in, uh, on Friday is uh, the shooting with the uh, with the audience. Yeah, and I suppose uh, in terms of, you mentioned some of the cast and you mentioned Ed O'Neill uh, bringing you out to the lunch and uh, 
uh, making you feel at home. And I suppose that uh, did you sense that sort of um, that sort of presence that it had on the sort of show? And did you just really uh, did you feel really comfortable working beside him, given his talents as an actor? And did you really see that comedy flair in him uh, working beside him up close? Of course. I mean, they come they come up with jokes out of the hips. I mean, they, they add to it. They sometimes change things uh, with the, you know, they're working with the writers. So sometimes things don't work. They have to rewrite it. But Ed O'Neill is super professional. And as we know, he's uh, then in modern family and is uh, still big today. I see him at the supermarket. He, he goes to the same supermarket. That's uh, great to know uh, that you're still in touch after all these years. Uh, Nicole, I suppose I'm going to ask you a question now, and I suppose it's going to rack your brains uh, maybe for an answer. But uh, it's probably, let's pretend Heidi from B Bavaria was put into a Married with Children encyclopedia. And uh, let's say her name was uh, put down and there was left a blank and there was two sentences left blank. And they came around to you and they said, Nicole, we're doing a, a Marry with Children encyclopedia. We want you to write the two sentences to sum up Heidi from B Bavaria. What would you like those two, two sentences to read having portrayed her? Uh, a German girl uh, uh, enticing uh, Ed Bundy to do something wrong because he, he is supposed to do the driving test, uh, but he's not supposed to pick up uh, hitchhikers. And uh, yeah, so uh, I guess a uh, German girl uh, in, uh, traveling through America, trying to make it to Milwaukee, mm -hmm. meeting the Bundys uh, in a, a driving test. I don't and know. I suppose... I suppose, uh, Nicole, lastly, on a, a bit of light sort of humour to let uh, to finish off, I suppose the costume uh, in terms of that you got quipped out in, in terms of Mario Children, were you allowed to keep that and did you wear it at Halloween or Christmas parties down through the years and relive the Heidi sort of uh, character where your family and friends and you get star and you appear at people's doors as, look, here's Heidi for Mario with Children down the years. Do you, do you still have that somewhere hidden away in a wardrobe? Uh, no, not that one. No, you don't get it. it. It stays with the wardrobe. But also it wasn't like a very, there's different levels of journals. That's how this outfit is called. And this was not the kind of journal that you maybe really wear to the Oktoberfest in Munich. So it was more like a yeah. Halloween style kind of uh, uh, German journal. I suppose, uh, Nicole, I suppose I am after running out of questions uh, now to ask you uh, an absolute pleasure talking to you today to relive your memories of playing uh, Heidi from Bavaria in season nine, episode two, driving uh, with Mr. Boondy. And I suppose, Heidi, it's only right uh, for me to leave the last uh, 30 seconds to you uh, to maybe to sum up uh, maybe in a paragraph of uh, what you would like to say about your experience uh, in, in marrying with children. So we let you uh, finish out, uh, Nicole, Nagal. Nagal, over to you. Oh, uh, well, how do I see what, please? What do how you do mean? You, how, do you, how do you summarize your time in married uh, with children? If someone asks you to summarize that time in 30 seconds, if you want to say something about your memories of being on the show, uh, what would you like to say for the last uh, 20 seconds or so? And it was uh, wonderful memories of uh, teamwork. Uh, my the first experience with the sitcom, and it was definitely a jump board uh, for me to get other parts. And I was very grateful for that, for the chance to be in it. And uh, Nicole, an absolute pleasure. Uh, we wish you uh, all the best, you and your loved ones, uh, in this uh, troublesome times in the pandemic uh, sort of world. Hopefully in 2021, we'll have the laugh and the humour of uh, acting back on our screens and we'll get to rejoin, hopefully, new uh, TV shows uh, on the trends of Mary with Children. But for at the moment, we're all in front of our TV screens. We're all binge watching and no doubt an awful lot of us are watching uh, Mary with Children and uh, we're getting to see you play Heidi all over again. So we let everyone 
everyone enjoy their TV viewing. We'll let you enjoy your TV viewing, uh, Nicole, uh, for the rest of the day. But for me, an absolute pleasure, Jim Conlon, talking to you. And we wish you all the best for a prosperous 2021. Take care, Nicole. Thank you so much for inviting me to your show. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs>